Hey, what's up everyone? I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you all how I set up my Focusrite 2i4 because I took a look at it the other day and it looked like an octopus because every single orifice of this thing had something coming out of it. So let's start with the front panel. As you can see, I have everything plugged in on the front panel. On the left input, input 1, you see an XLR connector going in and that's heading out to a microphone. The next one uh, has a guitar cable, and that would be going out to a guitar. And as you can see, there's a dip switch there, and it uh, gives you line level or instrument level. So I have it set to an instrument level because it's a high z instrument style input. Now there's an extra button, and neither of those are pushed, but those are the uh, pads on each channel. Now if you notice that uh, red button to the right of the two inputs, that's phantom power, and since I'm using a condenser microphone, I have the phantom power turned on. Next, moving to the right, we see a direct monitor knob. And the direct monitor knob is great for tracking if you want to hear the direct signal coming straight out of the 2i4. So you turn that towards the input side to the left. Right now I just have it on the playback, which is d monitoring directly out of the DAW and that would be more your setting if you wanted to mix. Underneath that you see the direct monitor mode which is stereo or mono. Typically I'll just direct monitor in mono because it makes things easier but you can direct mono, uh, direct monitor in stereo if you have two inputs plugged in. The next knob is the big circular knob which is the monitor level and that level controls your main monitors. So the outputs 1 and 2 when we move to the back will typically be controlled by that big knob. Then we have the headphone source dip switch. I always keep that on one to two because that is uh, what the signal coming out of the main monitor mix. And a headphone jack and a headphone level connector. So that covers the front panel. So you can plug in either an XLR or a instrument quarter inch or a line level quarter inch into the inputs you plug a headphone into the headphones and that's pretty self-explanatory. Now we'll get on to hooking up the 2i4 by moving onto the back. If we take a look, you see the USB 2.0 port and the main part of hooking up the Focusrite 2i4 is to get that thing plugged in and then plug it into your computer. Once you do that, you're off to the races. Moving to the left, we see a MIDI in and out. I have the MIDI in going to my MIDI controller. Now my MIDI controller does USB over MIDI and that's how I control my DAW. However, it's nice to have this extra one because I use a program called Synthesia to try to make me a better pianist. And if I want to use contact pianos or east-west pianos or Cubase pianos, I have to actually have two outs so I activate the MIDI to DIN on my MIDI controller and I can control Cubase and this extra program at the same time by setting the extra program to use the Focusrite's MIDI input and doing MIDI over USB in my DAW or in contact over USB. So moving on to the right we see outputs 3 and 4 which I have as RCA connectors. Now these are going to my auxiliary monitors, which are actually club speakers, so that when I produce these club bangers, you can hear what's going on on a club system. And I'll show you pictures of that as well. And then finally we have the main event, which is the TRS balanced outputs, and those are going to my monitors, which are JBL LSR 308s. And I just hook a TRS to each side, and go into the stereo monitors. So that is the inputs and outputs on the Focusrite 2i4 and how you get them all set up, every single one, except for MIDI out. I actually don't have anything plugged into MIDI out. But as far as most of the connections, that's how you would plug them in. And let's get into the computer and I'll show you how you download the software and get up and running with the Focusrite 2i4. Okay, so we're here in the computer now and we're at focusrite.com or us.focusrite.com and it couldn't be any easier you just go to the downloads tab pick your product by type you know find the scarlet 2i4 I have a first gen now I heard on the internet that the second generation drivers will work with the first generation interfaces and since it's on the internet obviously it must be true but if you do have a first gen you can download the first gen if you do have a second gen by all means download the second gen and it's a typical driver installation process. You click this, you click the box, the end, you know. 
it'll install and then you'll get an opportunity once it's installed to set it up on your sound card which we'll get to by going into the control panel and you see I have it installed here line out Scarlet 2i4 USB default device there we go and then in Cubase or in your DAW and depending on which DAW you use it'll be different but you go in Cubase you go to devices device setup VST audio system and you can choose which audio system you want to use I always use the Focusrite 2i4 USB 2.0 audio driver now if you go into it you have a control panel here and you're allowed to set the buffer and the buffer determines the latency I know that other DAWs allow you to use the samples you know you could do 64 samples or 128 samples in this in the generation 1 driver the only setting you actually get is buffer length and I have a set of 2 milliseconds because I can do everything I need to do and not get the pops and clicks at 2 milliseconds so that's where it is so that is generally how you download the driver and that is how you set up the Focusrite 2i4 in software so I hope you all have found this video helpful and if you did you can leave a like or subscribe or check out some of the links in the description if you want to pick up any of these products and it'll help me out so have a great day everyone bye